wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we get your notebooks off, please. Okay, so we're going to start looking at the, the outcrop of this, this place and see if you can start to see what sort of uh, structures we have in the sediments there. Okay. What have we seen, Luke? Uh, we've seen different band colours in the rock um, and we can tell these are lighter bands are coarser than these orange bands. It's quite a friable rock because I can scratch it with my finger and it break it away apart. it's like dust and then we can break it. There are fossilised insects in here which means I think it's a lagoon. Decent. Bolt is going this way, mm -hmm. but also this way and then that way, and we use Ruben's head, and you'll see that now. <laughs> Watch this video clip coming up. Three, two, one. That way, that way, that way, and you go up, 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 up. Does it make sense? Yes! Day one, we're just starting day two. Day three, day eight, and it's raining again. So we're starting day 10. Hey guys, day 18. Yeah, it's actually day 18. I thought day 18 was yesterday, but that was day 17, so day 21. Get it to our last day in the field. Six weeks of mapping is almost complete. It's been a really, really good experience. I think the amount which you learn in the classroom kind of all comes flooding back to you when you're out in the field and it kind of hits you and you have to remember things which you didn't think were actually very useful, but turns out they are pretty useful. So yeah, six weeks over and out. <laughs>